Container homes might seem like a new age option, but buying a do-it-yourself home isn't as rare as you might think. In fact, in the early 1900s, entire DIY home kits were sold to potential homeowners. Minimalist homes of the DIY variety may have a different appeal today, but the idea is the same. Thinking outside the traditional construction process can lead to more affordable housing. This is especially true when it comes to container homes. When containers are reused as the floor, walls, and ceiling of a home, construction costs are reduced. However, there are a few factors to think about before you start turning a shipping container into home sweet home. Shipping containers simplify the building process. With four sturdy walls already installed, you are essentially accelerating to the design phase of your house. Here are other benefits of using shipping containers as houses. They are mobile. Without a foundation, there is nothing holding a shipping container home. They are meant to be portable, which means you can ship and move them as you wish. While you may need special equipment to get from point A to point B, shipping containers keep you mobile. Custom design. While they may seem simple, you can customize the shipping containers to create the perfect layout for your home. Some owners even stack and connect several containers together so they're not limited by the size and shape of the starting space. Consulting a designer who is familiar with container houses can help you decide on the size and layout of your home. They are easy to find. Container houses are made from recycled shipping containers. They're so easy to find. You can simply search for container brokers in your area or even find them on online classifieds. Just be sure to look for a container that is sealed and has never been used for the transport of dangerous materials. You can even find containers that have been used very little or never used at all. They environmentalists. For homeowners looking to reduce their carbon footprint and environmental impact, using shipping containers makes sense. Recycle the base structure is inexpensive and keeps the metal away from landfills. The dimension and shape of the shipping containers also help reduce energy costs. The cons of shipping container homes. Environmentally friendly and cheap. What's not to love? Before you decide to build a DIY shipping container home, however, there are are a few things to consider. Insulation and condensation. Regular building materials like wood, stone and composites are widely tested for durability and integrity. Metal shipping containers aren't designed for living spaces. This means you could run into problems like a loss of insulation, wind resistance and even condensation development. Working with a builder can help you choose and prepare the best container for your weather and location. Tricky building codes. Shipping containers are highly portable, but that doesn't mean you can just put one anywhere. Regional building codes could limit the use of smaller homes or houses built with non-traditional materials. You'll need to Research your county and town building codes before choosing to go with cargo texture. And there's more! You may need to hire a driver with a truck license that specifically enables him to move your house from place A to place B. Contractor concerns When it comes to shipping containers, not all contractors are created equally. Most contractors are unfamiliar with cargo texture and may not know how to operate in the terrain when it comes to planning and building. Make sure you choose a builder who has worked with shipping containers before to guarantee that the process goes smoothly and stays on budget. But how much does it cost? Depending on the size, structure, and design, the price of a shipping container home could range from $15,000 for sale, as new, with a basic setup, to around $50,000 for a two-bedroom container. Depending on the size, whether it is used or not, what the shipping container was originally intended for, if used, high ceiling, or its size, the price of each shipping container will vary based on the retailer you want. A modern refurbished 40-foot shipping container could cost around $25,000, while a used 20-foot shipping container could cost around $15,000. And is a shipping container a cheaper choice than home construction? The consensus is that shipping container homes are inexpensive compared to building conventional homes, but it really depends on the situation. Shipping containers drastically reduce costs in areas where it's difficult to erect regular housing, such as sloping land. Unless you plan on living in container luxury or use a container build group, a large container house built and set up can range in price from $150,000 to $175,000, which is about half the price per square foot of conventional home. On the other hand, those who are experienced with construction and are building a small house can finish and furnish a container house for as low as $15,000, especially if they are portable. The hidden costs may come down due to the variation in permits. Those who are experienced with building, who have already remodeled, or are even well accustomed to creating building plans can finish and furnish a container house for as low as $10,000. In conclusion, I want to disprove a myth. Not all container homes are eco-friendly. Shipping containers are a 
popular construction these days for a variety of reasons as you saw. One is that it is generally thought that all container houses are eco-friendly. However, this is false. While the exact criteria of what exactly constitutes being sustainable, green, or eco-friendly are hard to write down, we know that some container homes are clearly not tipping the scales in the right direction. Why not? Start with the container itself. Newer containers, one-trip containers, are necessary and desirable for specific situations, but they are not as eco-friendly as used containers. If you reuse a new container in a home, the global economy still needs high-quality shipping containers and a new one must be created to replace it. To be clear, it's not terrible to use a new container. After all, we always use new things in our daily life. But don't think that using a new container is doing Mother Nature an immense favor. One of the best reasons to build with used containers is the pros that come from reuse, something that is otherwise left to rust to become unusable or cast into new steel at a considerable cost of energy and emissions can instead be used for housing. This advantage isn't really applied when it comes to new containers. There are a number of benefits to container construction that we can apply to both new and used containers, and many of them are related to ecological and environmental issues. However, these advantages are not necessarily universal and cannot negate the problems presented by using new containers. Therefore, if one of the main reasons you are interested in building a container house is eco-friendliness, you should plan to use used containers. If I helped you better understand the world of shipping containers houses today, please consider subscribing. Here on Finance Value Essay, we're all about giving you valuable information on entrepreneurship, business, and mindset. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on our future uploads. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.